The Heartland Film Festival opened tonight with an emotional documentary about the life and legacy of two-time Indy 500 champ Dan Weldon. It's called The Lionheart, and the film not only tells Dan's story, but it also shares how his sons are racing themselves. You don't have to be a race fan to connect with Dan Weldon's story. The Lionheart shares his spirit, his charisma, and universal themes of family, love, and loss. Also just with me and my kids and how we have kind of had to pick up the pieces and move on and that's just something that I've always, you know, tried to instill in my boys that, you know, yes, we've had this tragic event happen in our lives and um, but we can still make something good from it and they a huge crash. When a crash took Dan Weldon's life on the course in Vegas in 2011, his sons were two and seven months. In 2020, Oliver and Sebastian became part of the film about their dad's life and legacy. Hello. Susie said the timing just seemed right. The documentary shares how the boys are working through grief by racing. It's part of what drew filmmaker Laura Brownson to the story. I am the mother of two boys who take risks that I don't necessarily approve of nor feel comfortable with. Um, and when I heard of the story of Dan's passing, but then his kids following in his footsteps, I really was sort of intrigued by how does this happen? What she learned and what we see in the film is the way these kids feel closest to their dad is to do what he did, a legacy continued on the track. When you look at it in those terms, it's such a fascinating dilemma that she has every day, but it's so brave of her to let them let them do what they love and are so good at. <laughs> they are really good drivers. Yeah, really good drivers. Wow. Yeah, and it's such a powerful film. So if you want to see it, it'll air on HBO next year, early next year. So that's some good news. Mm -hmm. And then for the Heartland Film Festival, a second screening has been added for October 14th because tonight's was a sellout. Wow. No surprise. No, and I'm guessing the 14th will be a sellout. As I would well, think so. For sure. He yeah. just had